this session we shall try to discuss about the conditional statements so conditional statements is about you know evaluating a condition so the only outputs that is the results of a condition has to be either it has to be yes or it has to be no okay but in scala programming there are no keywords yes or no but we have only two keywords they are called as either true or false these are two keywords that are used to write a conditional statement if and else and the combination of if and else we have one more that is called as else if okay let us try to understand about this in this session okay let me open this program now go to this is my package already we have created the package called com.hartik.scala this is the first program second program and third program let me create one more program here I'll right click on the package i new scala class so do not use class here use object and let me call as conditional conditional one let me just some conditional one okay so here declare the main method write the main method here df main and its signature is going to be automatically added template for main method if you just enter and in this well x equal to some 20 if x percentile 2 equal to 0 okay print ln the number plus x plus even else print ln the number plus x is odd and is even this is very simple program then writing here we are reading an integer and we are evaluating whether that whether that integer is even or odd any number divided divisible by 2 that will be called as an even number otherwise it will be called as an odd number this is an expression you know there's a difference between statement and expression see this this is a statement i get this is a statement so there is a complete you know equal to 20 that is complete there is no nothing left here this is totally complete but this is not complete x percentile to equal to 0 it may be true it may be too fast after that what after that what this is what that has to be executed so this is this will be the complete statement this, this can be called as a statement from here to here this is if statement we call if conditional statement we call this as else statement else part if and else got it now okay try to understand like this okay let me compile and run this program just right click on the editor and run conditional one yes the number 20 is even you know this type of uh, supplying the input data still does not recommended so we have to read the data during runtime itself how do we read it the same time to show here print ln enter an integer and uh, while x colon inch equal to so we read do dynamically during the runtime uh, for that we need to write the scalar dot io dot stdin dot read int this is going to read the data into x let me run this program now uh, so on 25 it is number is that when number 25 is odd and if i run again it's going to run again and it will ask for uh, input again so on 23 so 20 so now it is going to be given as the number 20 is even this is how we can evaluate a number whether it is even or odd clear guys is it fine no the next thing is this is very simple to implement next one one more requirement is there's a student is there and uh, okay we need to assign a grade to the student uh, depending upon the percentage of marks he, he scored okay suppose if the percentage of marks is uh, 70 above then uh, give the you know grade as a grade let us a plus the grade is a plus and if it is greater than 60 and less than 70 as then the grade as a simply a and if it is greater than 50 and less than 60 and after let me call this as b and finally greater than 40 and less than or equal to 50 let me call this as some c okay so like this i would like to assign some grade to the student depending upon the percentage of marks he got now we shall write one more program object condition to so now we shall write the data for the uh, the program the student marks okay first let us read the 
the marks of the student print tell him into the percentage of marks okay read the percentage of mark float so if you're trying to read a float value we have to use read float if you're trying to read read integer read int it is a char char if the string read line enter the name of the student so val name colon string equal to scala dot i o dot stdin dot read there's no read string is there read string is not there you have to use read line okay remember that use read line so read line is going to read the data uh, as a string okay and after this now we got the name as well as we got the percentage of marks here we have decide the grade here what do you decide the grade the first option if p percentile is greater than 70 is greater than 70 so what is the conclusion that we are making here the grade is a plus else if we use else if remember if we have more than one condition here how many possibilities are there here uh, one possibility second possibility third possibility and fourth possibility whenever you have four possibilities always use this combination that is for the first condition always use if that we have to write the condition here and followed by the resulting to whatever you can write after this else if write the condition second condition okay one more condition and uh, if we have one more possible output then use again else if else if one more condition and this can be continued this else if statements you can continue like this you can use as many number of else if statements you want okay and final the last one we are going to use else if none of the above uh, becomes true then implement this else part so first we have to specify this condition with if and the second condition with else if and the third condition also with else if and the fourth condition directly else then not to write simply you can use else here this is how we can write if we have some uh, 10 conditions 10 possible outputs how can we write the first condition will be specified by using if remaining eight condition will be specified by using else if and the last condition will be by using else remember that there can be any number of else ifs between if and else so in any uh, conditional statements there must be one if one else and any number of else ifs okay remember that point so that's what i'm trying to write same thing here else if of p greater than or equal to 60 and p less than 70 sorry less than 70 we can't use and directly here we have to use double and symbols p less than 70 print ln the grade is a simply a next one more else if one more condition else if p greater than or equal to 50 p less than 60 then print ln the grade is b and finally else so if none of the above condition becomes true none becomes true then the last statement is going to be executed that is else statement else just simply not to write any condition in else simply print ln the grade is c if nothing becomes true the last is going to be executed that here is c that's it got it 70 if it is greater than 70 um, a plus if it is greater than 60 and uh, less than 70 it is ba b and c okay student name the student is uh, name okay name got grade c now let us run this program condition 2 if i enter some name of the student this is some david another percentage of marks i enter some 60 or 62 the grade has to be a enter the name of the student some mike and percentage of marks let me enter some 53 so for 53 what has to be the grade here the greater than 50 and less than 60 the grade has to be b the student mike i got grade b but do you think is it perfect seems to be correct but seems not to be perfect seems not perfect what is the problem okay let me show you that condition 2 what if i enter the name okay name name would be some some kumar and a number of marks 120 
the student got kumar got mark grade a plus can we have percentage of marks greater than 100 is it possible do we have it in real time no not right not possible right so what has to be the maximum percentage of mark that must be 100 only right maximum percentage is 100 only so first we have to give that condition we have to analyze you know not only just the positives we have to analyze the negatives are failures also so we have to must be able to handle them properly then only that code will become perfect otherwise no remember that okay so actually we have to use exceptions here but exceptions we shall discuss after the few sessions then we shall still refine the code but for this year we can do this with the uh, conditions if p is greater than 100 if p is greater than 100 and p less than or equal to 0 what we have to do print ln wrong value you have entered a wrong value please re-enter okay so after that what we need again again you know it has to ask for percentage or enter the percentage of marks isn't it if p is greater than 100 and uh, p is less than or equal to 0 it is wrong value please re-enter the percentage this is how we have to display okay so if they enter any value greater than 100 or less than or equal to 0 it has display this and it has to ask for enter the percentage of marks again isn't it that's what it has to do okay we have to discuss some concept here actually switching concept is required here but uh, that we are not going to use right now but we shall simply exit the program with this i will try to show that code in the coming up sessions perfect implement that we can implement by using exceptions actually system dot exit one okay this is going to exit we are going to come out of the program unless we enter the correct number okay current percentage of marks okay run condition two some chunk up some 50 percent it will like it will accept it will accept okay so the student shankar got grade b okay now let me enter condition two student name is some um, abc and the percentage of marks some 67.4 okay the student abc got grade a so it will accept float values also okay no problem fine is it okay so after uh, discussing that exception handling we shall try to implement the code very effectively but uh, for this time for now this could be the uh, good code okay this is the optimized code we can say like this is it fine guys thank you thank you guys thanks for your time